Class, uh, what am I doing here in a cemetery? It's obviously uh, a little bit different than you expect from an economics class, but uh, it actually relates to economics very, very clearly. And, and to begin talking about economics, I, I want to talk about scarcity because actually, well, before I even talk about that, let me explain what you were just witnessing there. That was the uh, tombstone with uh, Frank J. Yunker on it, next to it, his wife, Catherine Yunker. Uh, my wife Kathy finds that a little disturbing perhaps, but, uh, uh, and of course those aren't our gravestones, but they're uh, my grandparents, Frank and Catherine Yunker. So uh, anyway, uh, and, and what it highlights to me is the um, recognition that what we have here is uh, a scarcity of time. We have no idea a hundred years, in some cases, a hundred days or less in other cases. Um, we don't know what we're going to get. We just do know one thing. It's a finite amount of time. And uh, we have to make our decisions accordingly. Now you talk about, uh, see, economics is the, the study of scarce resources. Uh, if you had a painting by um, Van Gogh or Picasso or um, who's the uh, Gilbert Stewart, the famous American uh, painter, you have a scarce resource. These guys are dead. They're not making any more. And thus, by definition, price is going to be uh, impacted by that. Um, so we have scarce resources and we have to manage them. And time is the most scarce resource of all. And what we do, you've heard the phrase, time is money. But I want to change it around to say uh, money is time, or more correctly, money buys time. I'll give an example. When I was uh, uh, last summer, my wife and I we moved to a new house, and um, when we um, just checking the time, actually I gotta get home for the kids' school bus. Um, my wife and I bought a new house, and it was an older home, needed some paint, so we decided we would paint it ourselves. I had a choice. I could have paid somebody to paint it, and then I would have had extra time in the summer. Problem was, I wouldn't have anything to do with that time. So what my wife and I decided is, we would take the money that we had, and we would buy a boat and then I would have to paint the house myself. So I painted the house and during my free time of painting, I was allowed to go boating. But uh, if I had spent that money on a painter, I would have had plenty of time but no, no boat. Um, actually, I want to talk about that because when I think, and I'm not going to get uh, all uh, theoretical and religious on you here, but when I think about heaven, I think about time. Because in heaven, it's forever. We have, time has no meaning, so therefore, Economics is different. If only, uh, I don't know how it works in terms of our spiritual life, but if only we had time. I, I want to build a boat. I'm, I really want to build a sailboat, but I don't feel like I have time to build a sailboat. That's my problem. And so I'm probably going to spend money. We, we need bought a powerboat, not a sailboat. But when I get around to having a sailboat, it's probably going to be one that I purchase rather than one that I make myself because I just don't see where I have the time to handcraft that kind of boat which is unfortunate because I already have the boat named I just haven't uh, got the actual boat so anyway um, <clears throat> time that's what that's the issue of scarcity and from that all decisions are, are made when you go to the grocery store and you see a line with five people in the line at the checkout and you see another line with four people in the checkout all other things being equal you choose the line with four people because you want, you want to save some time. Speaking of time, I got to get out of here. So uh, we'll talk more later.